Hi there, welcome to the GridMate Learning Channel. Today, we will provide a step-by-step -step guide for setting up the user grid. Once you've enabled the GridMate Advanced User, you can easily access the user grid from the navigation bar or by searching for it in the app launcher. Click New. Set Opportunity as Object Name. Choose the columns you want to display from your list view. Set a name for your grid. Click Submit. To add columns to your grid, go to the Grid Explorer and select the Columns tab. You can start adding your columns. You can even add columns from the lookup. After adding and adjusting the column order, click Apply to finalize the changes. Perfect, our columns have been added. We can create a filter that shows only the open pipeline. We can choose the quick or the advanced filter. Click Apply. And we can sort the close date ascending or descending order. Click Apply. You can group by any field. For this example, let's group by stage. Keep in mind that you have the option to sort or group our grid by any single or multiple fields, as per your requirements. These are the changes we have made to the grid, the group by stage, and sorting the close date in ascending order. To further configure your grid, go to the config wizard. From there, you can edit the label and adjust the page size. For example, let's set the page size to 50. Check record details. Check the compact density for a more streamlined view. Let's aggregate the amount. Select the desired operation. Next, add a search box by name. You can also add some coloring to highlight amounts greater than or equals $10,000. Click Save to apply your changes. As you can see, we've aggregated the amount. Added coloring for amounts greater than or equals $10,000 and enabled search by name. From here, you can easily view the record details. Let's add an inline component. Go back to the config wizard and select the inline component tab. Search for your desired component. Add a condition if the opportunity ID equals current ID. Click Save. Our inline component feature allows you to display multiple grids in a hierarchical format under each record, showcasing related child objects. You can further customize this component by editing it to suit your needs. Go back to the config wizard. Check split view. Click save. Using the split view feature can significantly improve your productivity by enabling you to work on multiple tasks at the same time without the need to switch between different windows. And can enhance your efficiency and make your work process smoother. We can even freeze the columns to make it easier to navigate through large amounts of data. We can also add actions. To do this go back to the config wizard. Click the actions tab. 
Let's add mass assignment and update stages. Click Save. Select multiple records. We can mass assign the selected records to a specific user or group. We can update stages seamlessly without switching to edit mode. We can delete single or multiple records. Perform mass updates. or clone the selected record. Let's create a new formula field to automatically calculate the annual recurring revenue, ARR, from the amount field. Go to the Grid Explorer and select the Columns tab. Scroll down to the bottom and click on the Create New button. Here, you will have access to all the available fields and a variety of functions, including math, text, and logical operations. Select currency as a type. Set ARR as a label. Select the amount and multiply it by 12. Check the syntax for errors and save. Now we will find the ARR column as available columns. We can drag it up next to the amount. Hit Apply. Perfect, the ARR has now been generated. Let's inline edit the grid. The cool thing is the ARR updates on the fly. Once you have finished, click on the Save. Also we can create multiple records. Let's create three records at once. We can export our data as CSV or Excel files. As you may have noticed the ARR also generated. We can also aggregate it. That's it. Keep in mind that this demo provides a basic setup. We can elevate our grid to the next level by applying more complex criteria to all the features that we present. Thank you for watching.